Good morning. My name is Jeffrey Johnson. I'm a partner of Prior Cashman and head of the firm's cannabis practice. The three principal business models in the cannabis industry are the uh, cultivation and distribution of marijuana, which is probably most well known and used uh, primarily in states where marijuana has been legalized, either for recreational or medical uses. The other two include the sale of products and services that support the marijuana industry, for example, vaporizers that are used to consume marijuana and equipment that is used to cultivate marijuana. And the third area is cannabinoids or CBDs, which are becoming increasingly used for food additives, therapeutic value to treat minor ailments, and in one case, they've been approved by the FDA for the treatment of epilepsy. The important thing to understand when considering how the regulation of cannabis distribution and cultivation differs from the regulation of cannabis adjacent industries and CBDs is that in the context of the cultivation and sale of marijuana, that conduct is illegal per se at a federal level. So even if all of the conduct you're engaging in is confined to a state where the sale of marijuana for recreational use is perfectly legal, you are still committing a federal crime. So you have to be very careful in those circumstances and pay attention to the current federal uh, enforcement approach in those states. With respect to the CBDs, CBDs are legal in throughout the United States. There's no federal um, prohibition on the sale and use of CBDs so long as you comply with FDA regulations. Right now, there are a limited regime of FDA regulations governing CBDs, but as a result of the recent approval of CBDs for use in the treatment of epilepsy, more regulation is coming from the FDA in the near future. With regard to the conduct of the general industries that are marijuana adjacent and support the business of marijuana, so long as those products and services have valid, legitimate dual use, generally they are not uh, heavily regulated, at least not to any greater extent than they would be for those general non-marijuana related uses. The general regulation of the cannabis adjacent industries is far less substantial. You do have to be a little bit careful depending on the nature of the product or service you're selling. For example, uh, the sale of uh, vaporizers and other products used to um, consume marijuana. If they don't have a valid dual use, you can get into a little bit of trouble there. So you do have to pay attention, but it is not per se illegal to sell products like that. Unlike the marijuana cultivation and distribution industry, the marijuana adjacent businesses and the CBD industries have a much easier time accessing capital markets and banking services, primarily because they aren't illegal per se at a federal level. A good example of this is the GreenLane IPO. GreenLane is now listed on NASDAQ and has full access to capital markets and the banking services industry. Generally, IP protection is available for all three of these industries. However, in the cultivation and distribution of marijuana, you're talking about a product that is illegal at the federal level. And as a result, registering trademarks for marijuana itself and marijuana products is not available. It can't be done. You have to rely um, on state-issued trademarks, which are a much more limited form of protection. In the marijuana adjacent businesses and the CBDs, you can get the protection of a registered trademark at the federal level, and that's much more valuable.